so good morning students so hope all are doing good and staying in the stay home stay safe and follow the lockdown norms as a part of e learning which has been suggested by university and following allowed by our college faculty so as a part of it so we are today we are doing with primary impression so my topic is recording and refining the primary impression so dr sujit kumar from department of prosopology right so introduction coming to introduction impression making is an art as all of you know so impression is a negative replica of a structure or object what you are going to record so in your first year you have done pre clinical work there is a compound in your third year you practice alternate impression on your own so by this time you might be knowing how how many difficulties are how hard it is to get a proper impression you are done made impression with your staff and some staff gain the need is quality again you have to repeat so impression making and it's an art so unless you master it you cannot get a proper one okay. so it requires a certain amount of skill to master it but you can do it okay. as many impressions you know you have to get proper or similar from okay. the knowledge of the oral anatomy okay. on which you make impression maxillary you know the name of the structure Supervisor supporting the researcher, mandibular stone. So as you know, in complete dental medicine, there are usually five to six steps. So it starts from after examination, the clear once after the examination, the doctor can take it through and you plan your fabrication of the dental. The first step is making a preliminary impression. So each and every step in fact. Fabrication of complete dentary is important as the first step. The tree. So good impressions are basic for construction of good denture. Every phase of denture construction is important. So each and every step is very very important in the denture fabrication. So MMD one. So already we have you might be knowing the D one dipping in the objectives of impression making, the preservation of the tissue. So one more statement he has given is ideal impression must be in the mind of the dentist before it is in his hand. Before you start making impression, you should have an idea, the idea how the maxillary impression, so how the tissue, how the structure, when it is recorded, and the mandible, how it will be. So once it is, once if you have a clear picture, you can judge whether the impression what you made is is it good or faulty. If it is faulty, you have to repeat. If it is a good one, you can proceed to the next. So you must literally make the impression rather than take it. So always you make negative replica of the structure or negative illustration of the structure what is already present or existing. So you won't take it away. So always that is talk in the sense of making impression. You know, with the staff or the colleagues or the lab people, you have to tell. I made an impression. Or you are making impression. Not take. Not take it. Coming to definition. The impression, a negative likeness, a copy in the reverse of the surface of an object. So it is the reverse of the what is present. If there is any projection or elevation, it is seen as a depression. So the de uh, depression in the oral cavity is seen as a projection or elevation. So it is the reverse of. Complete denture impression is a negative registration of entire denture bearing here once the teeth are lost, only the oral mucosa will be left, will be present on the ridge. The denture bearing area where the denture is lying, then the stabilizing structures, okay, such as a ridge and supporting area, and the border seal area or the vestibular area, also a present in the denture and has to be recorded. Coming to preliminary impression, it is an impression made for the purpose of diagnosis and construction of a tree. So once you make preliminary impression and obtain a primary cause, that is basic of use for diagnosis. So if anything you miss in your case history or in examination, you can evaluate the primary cause and check to say if everything is fine or not. If there is any deep bilateral undercut, there are undercuts on both sides. 
you cannot proceed unless you have to do alloplasty of the regular ridge area. Then you have to always they should unilaterally under touch of the parabola dilate and such as you know, that is done and construction of the tool. So as you know, preliminary impression is made up of stock tree. So stock tree is a generalized one which is used or basically obtained from the manufacturer. So if you want to make a perfect impression on a particular portion or to customize the tray, that is not custom tray or special tray which you make on the primary part. The requirements of impression making uh, before you go for impression making, basically you have to know knowledge of oral anatomy. What are the structures present in the oral part? First you have to know how they function. Then the knowledge of basic reliable technique. Which technique is suitable for the which patient? Depending on the patient, I have to collect the technique of impression making. Then knowledge, knowledge and understanding of materials. So because they are very impression material. Which material is used good for which technique or we are for the patient? You have to decide. So if you have proper knowledge of them, then you can decide which is good for the particular situation. And the key, as I discussed in the first time. So if you keep on knowledge is a knowledge. If you can't practice it, then improve your skills. It's patient management. So, as you have a good rapport with the patient from starting the patient walks into the dental office and sits in the dental chair, how to have good rapport, talk to the patient, develop a good rapport, and then you can manage the patient. So, discuss the patient, figure out the condition, what are the treatment steps you are going to do, everything you discuss. Then, the patient can cooperate with so as you know, maxillary landmark, or peripheral structure, supporting structure, healing structure. And mandibular also you have peripheral structure, healing structure, supporting structure. So, so in maxilla, the anterior most point to start is labial frame. Postal most is hamlar notch. Hamlar notch is present behind the tuberous and post palatal the mandible will have from the label freedom, posterior extent should be up to the retromolar pad. So, always if you have impression, have to record the retromolar pad. The series of impression making. The so impression making depends on various aspects. One is amount of pressure. So, depending, as you know, once the teeth are lost, the alveolar ridges of the maxillary palate covered by mucosa. So mucosa is an elastic image. So depending on its elastic image, if the foundation is good, the, uh, the firm and resin, mucosa will be firm and resin. The foundation or the bony foundation where the ridges are poor, it will be loose, the mucosa will be loose and it will be flat, it will be keep on moving. In such case you cannot apply pressure. So depending on the amount of pressure you apply, the patient can be so compressive. Mucostatic selective pressure. And again, impression can be categorized with open mouth and closed mouth. So, open mouth, for example, third year, you are always making impression on your stool, on your friends. So, you ask your friend to open mouth so that you can place to your tray, allow the tray open and play in this function. This is open mouth. Same, patient, when you ask the patient to clench onto the teeth, it is known as closed mouth. Always prefer to do open mouth technique and hand manipulation. Manfred the lips and cheek. Dentist manifest known as hand manipulation. Same thing. If you ask the patient to perform some, some function like whistling or pursuing lips, sucking, swallowing motion, where the muscle will be activated. You know, the activated muscles will manipulate the impression body. It's known as functional motion. And the type of the trait. Which type of the tray we are making depends on. Preliminary impressions are usually made up of stock tray, whereas secondary or mass impressions are made up of custom tray. In steps in impression making, preliminary examination of the patient. First, when patient comes, first you have to take proper case history and do thorough examination, clinical examination. Here, extra oral examination. Then some intraoral examination about the mucosa, ridges, premal attachment, palate coming to tongue, or type, um, the consistency of saliva, 
everything you have to make you know then at the base of the investigation you can discuss that is then you have to come to diagnosis then you have to treat it then you have treat it so once proper case history and examination is done then you have to see if you make a good impression proper impression or not there is any condition which complicate impression making has to be identified and you have to postpone your treat Making major impression, patient back should be reclined. Major arch should be 45 degrees to the floor, and the operator should stand rear of the patient, eleven o'clock position. When making major impression, patient should be sit upright, and the mandibular arch should be on to which you are making impression should be parallel to the floor, and operator should stand at six or seven o'clock position. Is. And one more important point: the oral cavity where you are making impression should be at your elbow level, the operator's elbow level. The patient should not be seated very high, where impression making is very difficult, or the patient should not be uh, placed too where you have to bend too much. So, it affects your uh, selection of the. Patient. The beginning of good impression starts with the selection of the stop, correct stop. So to select correct stop, you get a proper impression. In the first slide or first starting of this, you will see good impression help or uh, will lead to success of our trade. So to end up, the trade selection is very very important. The trade is too large to disturb the broader picture. If the trade is too small, it won't give proper support. In the circular structure, it will be collapsed. Material. So, what are, there are various impression materials: rigid, elastic, or reversible, irreversible material. So, so we should have thorough knowledge, and depending on the goal of uh, uh, the criteria, what uh, uh, you are making impression, depending on the type of kind of the impression material. Okay. So, usually, primary impression is made up of alginate. We commonly make it impression copy. For alginate, again, this is very important. So we, we select the material. So depending on that, the gap present between the tray and the tissue has to be identified. If you select alginate material, the gap should be two to three m. Or if you make an uh, impression with impression compound, the gap should be five to six m. The compound is a high viscous material, so we should allow. Sufficient thickness of material to flow and record the tissue. Whereas alginate is the elastic material, it can flow easily. So it can be two to three m. Yeah, it can be sufficient. Preliminary impression. We obtained a preliminary impression so that it is slightly overestimated the border of the product, and accordingly we can uh, uh, do the adjustments in the custom. The space available in the mouth for impression impression is steady K P. The abbreviation of width and height of the vestibular surface is mouth partly open, the upper lip held slightly outward and downward. So, after positioning the tray, you should see whether the tray is sitting correctly or not, whether sufficient space is present between the tray and the tissues you have to see. Okay. The, the extension and the size of the tray is very, very important. So once you treat the tray, you have to verify. You should not be rocking. If you press on one side, it should not lift on other side. So if it is rocking, you have to modify it or you have to take one more tray. So you come into selection of the maxillary stock here. So first, you have to position the tray by retracting the corner of the mouth and allowing the patient to open the mouth halfway. Place the tray horizontally into the oral cavity. Then position it posteriorly. See that whether it is covering handle or not. Or not. Beyond the tubular tip. And once it's treated, it should anteriorly it should the label not should uh, be 
covering the label field or increasing the label field. And as you place your index finger on the molar region, it should be positioned or should be positioned correctly without any rock. If any gap is too much between the tray and the tissue, or if it is very light, you take a plier and adjust it accordingly. You have to bend inward or outward to correct the space, required amount of space. The extension of the tray into the vestibule is too much. You have to cut with the plier. And again, verify it after cutting it. Then smooth in the cut borders so that it won't injure the tissue. The extension is less. Of the safeguard the tissue, the border areas can be utility wax can be added to record the peripheral structure proper. Because before making impression or uh, before carrying the lower tray, identify the hamlar notch with T burnishes and as the patient will pronounce ha. So from right hamlar notch to left hamlar notch, you have to mark a line. That line represents post palpal field. The tray should extend. Up to uh, post uh, posterior vibrating line or slightly behind one to two mm behind the line, making alginate impression. The alginate impression, uh, uh, loaded alginate is taken into the oral cavity. First, posteriorly it is cut, see, the tray is cut posteriorly so that the excess material which is left over will flow anteriorly. To do reverse, to position the tray anteriorly first, the excess material will go. Behind into the throat. Once it goes throat into the soft palate area, patient will develop gag or choking. And uh, immediately it will uh, cause a discomfort, and patient will immediately will push your hand out. So always press in the posterior region first, so that the excess material will flow into the palate and to the anterior region. So you sweep the tray anteriorly. Check there is the tray with index finger in the molar region. Cut the lips and cheeks so that the uh, impression borders can be manipulated. So this is the final uh, uh, prior completed impression with rounded borders and correct impression. So the mandible trait has to be selected. The mandible the impression should cover the vitromolar trait should cover the vitromolar pad. So position the tray. Okay. See whether it is seated correctly or not without any rocking. And same here also for compound impression, they should go back of 5 to 6 seconds. Any overextension of the structure is there, cut it, round it up. Or any underextension, extend the utility wax. Uh, making up alginate impression. The loader, a mixed alginate is loaded into the tray. When patient is uh, opening his mouth half, half way, carry the tray into the oral cavity. And as the patient lifts the tongue, position the tray on either side of the tongue, on the reach area. Then ask the patient to do the tongue move. Ask the patient to bring the tongue forward, move the tongue right and left. And this is the impression. And coming to compound impression. You know, impression compound is manipulated in hot water bath. So, in hot water bath, you take two pieces of compound and you manipulate the compound. This manipulation is known as kneading. The needle will uniformly pass on the compound and remove any kind of air bubble. And position the needed compound onto the tray and mold, mold it. Mold it in the uh, roughly into the, uh, how the file, your file impression is. Mold it onto the borders and form a bruise on the ridge area. Then position as we discussed earlier, position posteriorly and anteriorly, keep it correctly. Do the Lift and cheek manipulation. Lift outward, downward, inward. Cheek outward, downward, inward. Anterior and posterior. Disturb buccal region. Ask the patient to move the mandible right and left. The post palatal field area. Ask the patient to pronounce ha. By this way, record the border area of the mandible tissue. Once, fine. Then mandible. Same way. Need the compound. Make it a rope form. Narrow uh, into the mandible tray. Mold it, okay. mold it, and feed that uh, loaded tray correctly. Now, the patient to do the tongue movement. The tongue movement, what do you have to do? Bring the tongue outward, touch the upper lip, move the tongue right side, left side into the cheek. These are the required complete 